Long day lay me low. Hello everybody, Jason Bascom here from Unhinged Entertainment. You know the drill. Co-founder of Unhinged Entertainment, co-creator of Frog G, creator of Absolute. Working on a Frog G page, uh, did some work on a live stream, and let's show you what it did. So here we have it, uh, working on a Frog G page. Yes, yeah, so what I do is I uh, do this line art, the outline you just you see there without me going in the inks. I do that uh, digitally uh, due to my eyeballs, we all know. Uh, and if you're new to the channel, you don't actually. Uh, I have retinitis pigmentosa, so it's really hard. I'm going blind, in other words, saying going blind. So it's hard for me to see uh, details very well, uh, or tightness in any way, small other things. So it's easier for me to go ahead and do the line art, outside line art, digitally. It, it makes it tighter. If it's a comic, I like to do it that way. Uh, free flow stuff. Uh, I, I still do stuff with pencils and inks and stuff, but this is a. Uh, what I do is I do the line art and then I print it out and then I just go in straight in and ink it up. Uh, you know, free, it's not free flow. I, mean, I know where the details go and the light source will be or something like that. So, but yeah, using a Micron 0.02, I'm really liking it. I usually use a 0.05 uh, whenever I ink. I can get a good variation with line weight. But this is a uh, 0.02 is working really well in this page. I, I can get a little bit finer detail in there. Uh, and I know I said compliant, but I can still do detail. And uh, you see me pausing now and then, I'm reading the chat, because I did this on a live stream. But uh, yeah, and then I also use a little bit of a Pentel pocket brush pen uh, to use some of the harder blacks and I smear it out a little bit, because I can still get that effect with a pocket brush pen. Uh, it's nice, I like it. And uh, I also go in with a Pentel, uh, not Pentel, a, po a Posca pen, a Posca pen, a white Posca pen, and uh, to white out some of the areas, because I go outside the lines a little bit sometimes. Yeah, see, sorry. I stopped a little bit there I probably could cut that out but yeah so uh, you know just going in adding in the what Tom McFarlane calls the sexy um, this is a door knocker uh, that he's talking to here so Frog G is a fantasy epic fairy tale so you, you know you can do weird things with it and have fun uh, you know I mean you know, they do that in what's there's another there's other movies that have door knockers that talk but um, yeah, this is a good one I like that we had fun coming up with this thing spot tonight yeah so uh, having a good time with this, uh, hoping to crank out these Frog G pages and, and get it to you fast. So, uh, there you have it. That's fun time. All right, so there you have it. That's it. Um, I touched it a little bit more. Uh, I was actually looking up music videos, trying to find new bands, but I uh, found a couple that were okay. So there you go. Some, uh, so there you go. Some of the detail for the uh, the door knocker. Uh, so yeah. So there you go. Uh, thank you once again for watching. Uh, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button if you don't mind. And back Frog G, currently on Indiegogo today. I will leave you with the trailer by Pedro Ang and Luke Alietta. Have a great one. We've all read the story. The brave hero conquers the diabolical villain and rescues the damsel in distress. But this is real life. And in real life, stories don't always have happy endings. Frog G, the story of a man turned into a frog by a voodoo priestess sent on a mission to kill a god by death itself. Now our hero must roam the underworld to regain his humanity and win back the woman he loves. <laughs>